I'll show you a menu example. So we've got our selector, let's say there's only three. And let's have a menu of some kind. So um, let's build that. Like that. Have a highlighted version. So we'll make the text white and the background black. And these are powered by these different um, channels here. Cool. So now uh, if we get a controller, controller sensor, remove those wires. Come here, wires. There you go. And then uh, put into remote controllable. And now we can use up and down or something. So if we go to the up, that will go to the previous one in this list. And down will go to the next one in this list. And it will wrap naturally. So I'll press down. And it goes through and up and it goes through um, we can add some like fade-ins like that and then maybe you want to say um, if you play it, press X then we go to a sub menu or something so let's uh, So there'll be more stuff going on in here. So these will always be visible, I think. Uh, and this is the selected part, so let's put that in there. It's already on for some reason. Um, and then if you press X, so let's make a little keyframed switch. So keyframe. keyframe switch and use that for X so now when I press X then it turns on the keyframe which turns on the switch and if you make a copy of that over here it still turns on the copy as well so we can avoid all the tons of wires that can happen so if we put all of this stuff in one big chip like the text so what we really want is the selector stays outside so it just turns off the visuals for those parts if that makes sense so it works uh, initially but then we turn it off at some point so let's go like that so uh, make sure that keyframe is on so that goes through fine but then when we uh, go into a sub menu then we turn off the main menu so uh, that's X so we want to say we have a selector for not in the sub menu and we are in the sub menu so that will activate that and turn on this keyframe so that means uh, if we press X here that selector is still powering this chip so we can still do stuff in here but um, but these menu items are being hidden so let's have some more menu items in here. So this, all this stuff will happen at once as well. So let's put it in a chip. And we can put this keyframe in there as well. Make sure it's on. Uh, put this in here. And then we have um, these happen as well. So we'll probably want another keyframe switch set up for up and down so this is like decoupling all of the controls with all of the effects the controls have so uh, we want to yeah so this is the visible stuff but we also want up and down to work on there so we can do that and that yeah so now we go up and down we go in here and now that chip is off so up and down doesn't affect that selector at all we want it to affect the selector over here so let's make that second one yeah we go have a selector powering those 
and we have up and down again. So up goes next, down goes like that. Right, so now we press X and now we can go through those. And you can press X on that or whatever. I'd like to thank Rev Player, Hyper Dream Surfer, Shadow of Callus, and all of my other supporters for making this tutorial possible. Thanks for watching. If you'd like me to continue making these tutorials and helping creators across the internet, you can find out how to support me in the link in the description. Thanks for your consideration, and I'll see you in the next one.